Hi everyone, Bianca here for Media Makeup. So tonight I'm going to the launch of the Polo, BMW Polo Open. And I'm going to be wearing this beautiful Cheryl May top called Bugaboo. And it's quite blingy and full on. It's summertime, it's hot out there. I can't be bothered wearing too much makeup. I've just come from the beach. So I've prepped my skin, cleansed, toned, moisturized. We're getting photographs. So I've gone and popped a little bit of clear eyes in. It's about $10 from the chemist. And I've done my foundation. Today, um, because it's summertime I started using the MAC Mineralize but in a NC44 and I've mixed it with a little bit of my Garnier um, BB cream so this has the SPF in it so I use less of this product the MAC and a little bit more of this product mix it together on my hand pop it on so I get the protection and a little bit more um, of a darker tanned look for summertime. I've concealed and I haven't even bothered putting any powder on because I just don't think that I need it at the moment. I've done half of my face so we'll get started. We'll put a little bit of MAC eyebrow gel on and just run that through the hair. We are going to be using an eyeshadow called Smut. It's quite a dark brown. And I'm also going to double up with my slant brush, double up on this product and use it on my eyebrows. So let's just little dots all the way through. If you're wondering about how I apply the foundation, um, I have a foundation tutorial, tutorial that I've already done earlier that you can look at. And we just want to fill in all the wispy areas so little dots not hard lines okay so let's get a 217 brush a nice big fluffy brush this color is your basic um, base color this one is a matte color called grain you can use any color you want in any cosmetic okay as long as it's light and it's close to your skin color and just pop that on all over then we go back to the smut color I've got a point brush here let's just get some product on there from the edge of the eye to the middle little dots okay so to the middle of the pupil and just blend that on nicely and then we're just going into the contour line this is the easiest quickest makeup you could ever do it just looks really lovely and natural and um, you know sometimes you just don't want to be wearing lots of makeup but you want to look good so this is a really good way of doing it this is also um, a really nice daytime look as well so I am now getting um, a MAC blusher in peaches okay so any particular color that you fancy as long this one's in a matte color so it hasn't got any of say the iridescence say like that's shiny and iridescent and that is nice and matte so because we're going for a low-key look do the cabbage patch doll middle of the pupil is your mark and going upwards Just pop on as much as you need there we go and now I want to be getting my Thin Lizzy lip gloss. This is your Take Everywhere product. Just grab some of that product on your lip brush. Stretch the lips out. You want to be getting in between all those fine lines. And that is what keeps your lip gloss lipstick on longer. Now. I've got some eyelash extensions and don't they look fabulous from uh, Beauty by Teresa and um, so you would need to do um, curl your lashes then use a volumizing mascara uh, today I'm using a Bobbi Brown in black and um, I like this one for my lower lashes because the brush is very fine and that means that I'm not going to look like I've got spider's legs on my eyes so going from the roots and wiggle it down okay if you find that it clumps up just get an old mascara wand and pop it through so that basically is my really quick easy evening makeup or it could be a really lovely day makeup so go to my website www.mediamakeup1.com if you'd like to book me 
and have a look at the other makeup tutorials. You might learn something. Ka kite anō.